Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of Plunder video. It is Zer Day Friday, August 26th, 2022, and Zer is back in the tower. So we're going to see what Zer has for us today. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, of course, Zer has three different spots that he can show up each week. This week, Zer decided to show up in the tower. So spawn into the tower and just adjacent over here from Saint 14 will be good old Zer. So yeah, once again, happy Friday and let's see what Zer has for us today. As always, Zer has returning the illustrious, luminous, exotic, and grab, grab, grab. <laughs> so you can get after all of these old exotics. Now we have two random rolls, one for the Hawk Moon, one for the Dead Man's Tail. Let's first go over the ones for the Hawk Moon for this week. Now we have some pretty interesting rolls. We got Fluted Barrel. Alloy Magazine, Killing Wind, and Texture Grip, making this a hybrid more, more towards the PvE side of things. Still should be a pretty good weapon. Pick it up and add it to your collection if you don't already have the Hawk Moon Hand Cannon. Next up, we have the Dead Man's Tail Scout Rifle. Now, the Dead Man's Tail Scout Rifle comes with some phenomenal rolls this week. We have Fluted Barrel for increased handling and stability, High Cal Rounds for increased range, Moving Target, which is excellent. And last but not least, to round it off, we have Short Action Stop. Making this pretty much almost a guide roll, depending on if you like those last two parts. Either way it goes, it's gonna be a fantastic roll. Pick it up and add it to your collection. The weapon of the week is none other than a Sky Burner's Oh, Comes with an intrinsic part called Slug Rifle. The weapon lobs with explosive slugs when you're aiming down the slights. The slugs travel fast and straight, and when you're firing from the hip, the explosion is a larger and applies scorch to the target. It also comes with extended barrel for a little bit more range and a little moderate control with the recoil. Extended magazine and then we have a trait called Fourth Empire. Weapon fires in full auto and deals extra damage to the ball and penetrate Flanix's shield as well as short action style. Excellent in PvE and in PvP it's pretty freaking good in the right hands of a guardian. Big it up and add it to your collection. Next up we have the Raju's Harness. This exotic is going to be for the Hunter class. Comes with the intrinsic part called Mobius Conduit. Press L1 and R1 together. It's going to deactivate Whirlwind Guard early and Whirlwind Guard consumes energy more slowly when not activated and guarding does not consume extra super energy. Sounds great. You just don't see so many people rocking this because ah, it needs to work. For me, it needs to definitely rework on this exotic. For me, it's a hard pass. Now, next up, we have another lovely returning exotic. This one's going to be for that lovely Titan class called the Eternal Warrior. Now, this helmet looks good on paper. How does it perform? Returning old school D1 exotic is back with Resolute. Gain an overshoot when activating Fist of Hack. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good in PvE and in PvP. Pick it up, add it to your collection. Next up, we have the Aeon Soul. Now, the Aeon Soul, it's, um, it's an exotic that everybody should have because you can pick this up during the campaign. Now, it was trash back in the day, but Bungie, you worked this bad boy. Now, it's pretty good. Comes with the Sect of Force Aeon Cult Mod. And you have a whole bunch of different um, choices for you to choose. And depending on how many of you and your buddies got this on, it can be very very helpful so all of a sudden the aeon soul is a pretty good exotic if you don't have it pick this bad boy up but to tell you the truth you should already have this in your inventory now for our legendaries this week we're going to start off with the seven surfer carbine auto rifle 450 precision frame now i do believe 450s need to get a little bit of buff come on bungee buff those bad boys now this one has a pretty decent roll if i don't say so myself so uh, let's go over it we have no other than a stability masterwork so we're starting off good we got chamber compensator small born for a little bit more range so definitely want to keep it right there alloy magazine as well as player magwell underdog and range finder so it's a pretty freaking nice roll. Take off underdog and you have yourself a god roll right there or pretty close to it, you know? So definitely it's gonna be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. <sighs> it needs a it needs a buff, right? You're still gonna have to do some work to get those kills. Make sure you get your head size. Next up, the Chrysura Mellow. This is gonna be another auto rifle, 360, so it's gonna fire a little bit slow, but it has high damage on this bad boy. Looks beautiful too, but it's really hard to get a good roll on this. So let's go over the perks and see what we got. 
We got chamber compensator for a little bit more increased ability, probably diagonal rifling, so you definitely want to keep it right there. Extended mag, steady round, so yeah, not bad. Outlaw, dragonfly, making this a hybrid roll, but leaning towards the PvE side of things, with the range rest work still going to be pretty good in PvP, but it's, you know, it's a 360, you're going to have to make sure you hit your headshots, do it from a distance, and you'll be alright. Next up, the wolf tone draw combat bow, 680 on the draw time precision frame combat bow, with Tactical string, flexible string. So yeah, pretty good. Fiberglass, arrow shaft, straight shaft. Not bad. And to round it all off, we have some other pretty good traits on this bad boy. We have Archer's Tempo. Draw time decreases after every precision hit. And a GL. After defeating a target, this weapon fires, charges, or draws more slowly and deals increased damage with the draw time. So all in all, it's a fantastic roll. Maybe just a few more perks away from a god roll. But still, the Wolf Tone draw is going to be excellent, and it's Arc 3.0, so definitely going to go with your Arc build right there. So pick it up, add it to your collection, this is going to be a pretty good bow, Mr. Zer. Nice. Next up, we have the Cartesian Coordinate. This Fusion Rifle is going to be at charge time of 500 rapid fire frame, and uh, yeah, these are never really good in PvP right off the rip. I can tell from it, the rolls are not that great, but then again, I don't know, let's go over. We got Red Dot 2 Miller, Red Dot Micro, Enhanced Battery on there as well so we got I mean a little smidge of range so I mean it's not horrible right but we got projection fields to give us a little bit more range so you know not bad hip fire grip and high impact reserve with a reload master work hard pass for me but still should be pretty decent in PvE and in PvP and not so much probably gonna get killed trying to use this I'm just saying unless you get real low close on the guardian from behind and then you still might get killed. <laughs> Next up, we have the Iota Draconis Fusion Rifle. This is another good one. It's going to be a charge time at 956. Very high impact on this. So one shot kills in the crew C blade. That's what I'm talking about. High impact frame with the charge time master work, which is excellent. We got chamber compensator and small bone for a little bit more range, which is nice. Accelerated coils, liquid coils for maximum amount of impact. So you got range, you got impact, you got charge time. You're already looking good with this Iota Draconis. Heating up can be a whole lot better in this, but still not bad for that. And then we got, once again, at a Geo, after defeating a target weapon, fire charge or draw time more slowly and deals increased damage for a brief time. Rounding us all off, it's a pretty fantastic roll and almost a god roll if I don't say so myself. So good job, Mr. Zer, good job. Pick it up, add it to your collection. It's gonna be pretty good in PvE and PvP. Next up, the Triantula Linear Fusion Rifle. Another ARC 3.0 type of weapon, so not bad. 530 draw time, precision frame with small horn chamber compensator. We got accelerated coils on there for faster charge time. We got an enhanced battery for a little bit more impact, so definitely keep it on those two. Firm Lupanic and Rampage, making this once again almost a guy roll, a fantastic roll. If you don't have a Triantula, this is going to be a pretty good one. It's going to be good in PvE and in PvP as well. Even if you don't hit your headshots, you're gonna catch a lot of Guardians slipping with this, especially with a charge time on there. So yeah, have some fun with this one. If you don't have a really good roll on the Triangular Fusion Rifle, well hey, you are in luck because Mr. Zer has a fantastic roll. Last but not least, we have the Frozen Orbit Sniper Rifle. A high aggressive frame, high damage, high recoil sniper. It's pretty good. 72 RPM with four in the magazine with the range masterwork. And we have hammer forge rifling as well as arrowhead break. So, you know, you want to keep it right there. A pendant match and steady round. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Then round it all off, we have two more really good traits. We have no distraction aiming from this weapon. It's going to reduce flinch when you aiming down the sights, which is really good for PvE and for PvP. So you can hit the headshots. And then Dragonfly, which is more or less a hybrid type of role, more towards the PvE side of things. But with the range masterwork, you're still going to get some pretty snappy headshots with this because of the no flinch. And it's going to be a very good hybrid role. It's going to be pretty good in PvE and in PvP, so long as you hit your headshots. A lot of range and a whole lot of impact on this bad boy. Makes this Frozen Orbit almost a god roll. So if you don't have a good one, pick it up and add it to your collection. Now, to round it off, we have our legendary set. And it's the Jimson Knight set. Not really good for transmog. Right, the only two pieces that look good is the chest piece and the helmet 
for transmog. So for me, it's gonna be a hard pass. I already picked him up, but because the planet isn't here anymore, this is very hard to get because you just can't get it. So if you don't have it, at least pick up the helmet for transmog. As far as all of the roles, they're decent, some of them, but nothing that you really want because they're not in the right slot. So for me, it's a hard pass on all of these, unless you're getting it for transmog. And if you're getting it for transmog, the only ones that look good, in my opinion, is the chest piece and the helmet. But then again, Zer has some pretty good stuff this week, so I'm not mad, not bad, not bad at all. So there you have it, my guardian. That is what Zer has for us this week, August the 26th, 2022. Happy Friday, my guardians. I hope you and yours are having a wonderful day. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Gamer for a little wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys, and news, and a whole lot more. So if you enjoyed this video, once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.